Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox fan coming to you from Al Red Sox fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. Just finished watching the Red Sox beat the Houston Astros to take game two, so the series is tied at one apiece. And I'm going to play a little Stratomatic Baseball on the PC. And it will be the 1961 New York Yankees, led by the M&M boys, Maris and Mantle, taking on the 1927 New York Yankees led by Ruth and Gehrig and the rest of Murderer's Row in the New York State of Mind Cup. As I'm just doing the sound check, bear with me a moment. Oh, gee, can you hear me? Seems like we have no sound. All right, let's get to the ball game. OG says he can hear me, even though I'm not picking up the sound check. As Mr. Mike McAllister's in the chat, and he says the Yankees will win this one. Yes, they will. But which Yankee team? I don't understand why I can't pick up any sound here. All right, well, let's just play it out, folks. Leading off for the 61 New York Yankees, Bobby Richardson, then Kubek playing short, Richardson's at second. Batting third, Roger Maris. Batting fourth, Mickey Mantle in center, Maris in right. Batting fifth, playing left field, Yogi Berra. Batting sixth, the catcher, Elston Howard. Batting seventh, playing first base, Bill Moose Scarin. Batting eighth, playing third base, Cleet Boyer on the hill. For the 61 Yankees, Whitey Ford, and he is batting ninth. On the mound for the 27 Yankees is Wait Hoyt, 22 and 7 with a 2.64 earned run average. Struck out 86, walked 54, gave up 10 gopher balls. Behind the plate is Collins. Gehrig's at first, Zeri is at second, Kone is at short, Dugan is at third, Musil is in left, Combs is in center, Ruth is in right. This will be played under the basic rules. This is an old time set. Yeah, there is no game sound. No game sound. That drives me nuts, the game sound. So, And Hoyt will deal to Bobby Richardson. Richardson looking for the 1-5. I'm managing the 27 Yankees. Here's the pitch to Richardson. And that is a 4-11. 4-11 to Richardson. Ground ball to first. 20-sided dice rolls a 1. Uh, it's going to be a base hit for Richardson. And an 11, and an error added on to it. So Richardson, on the bounding ball, will wind up at second. So it's a single. And then they, Gehrig commits a rare error. So Bobby Richardson's at second for Tony Kubek. Kubek looking for the 1-2. The wind-up and the pitch from Hoyt. And that is a 6-7, six, 6-7, seven, six, seven. off the Hoyt card. 
And that's a 7 on the 20-sided dice roll, so this will be a hit. As that ball goes up the middle. And Richardson holds that third. So first and third. No outs for Roger Maris. And in 1961, we all know how many homers he hit. He hit 61. He's looking for the 2-3 card. Wade Hoyt looking to get out of this with a double play ball. Koenig and Lazari pinch the middle. Here's the pitch to Roger Maris. And that is a 1-6. A 1-6 to Maris. And they pitch way too carefully to Roger Maris. Bases are juiced for the second portion of the m, &M boys. Mickey Mantle. Mantle looking for the 2-3 column. Hoyt deals to Mantle, and it's a 2. Oh, boy. This could be a grand salami. A 2-6. Two, 2-6 six. Two, six to Mickey Mantle. And that is an 11 on the 20-sided dice roll. Mantle rips a single to right. And it's 1-0. 61 Yankees has scoring from... Third is Richardson. Base is Juice. Kubek at third. Maris at second. Mantle at first for Yogi Berra. Berra in 61 had 22 homers. They have Wait Hoyt on the ropes. Collins sets the target. Here's the pitch to Berra. And that is a 4 9 to Yogi Berra. 20 sided dice rolls a 10. 4 9 to Berra. Not a column of choice. Ground ball is short. It's a G1. Koenig's up with it. Trying to turn two and limit the damage. And that's a 13, and this is going to go 6-4-3. to four to three. A run will score. No RBI for Barra, and it's 2 to nothing. 61 Yankees, but they gladly take the two outs. They gladly take the two outs, 2-0, two as my second screen is giving me issues here. They gladly take the two outs, 2-0, two as my second screen. Now the sound check works. Amazing. All right, here we go. So here's Elston Howard. Howard had a good year. 348, 21 homers in 61. Hoyt deals to Howard. Sounds like a law firm. And that is a 4-3 to Elston Howard. 4-3. What will it be? We shall see. 27 Yankees hoping for the third out. Ground ball to Garrick. He knocks it down, picks it up, flips to Hoyt. Side retired. But the 61 Yanks score two. Could have got more, but they get two. Two nothing, bottom the first. And here is the 27 lineup for the Yankees. Combs is in center field leading off. Koenig is at short, batting second. Babe Ruth batting third and right. The cleanup hitter Lou Gehrig at first. He committed an error. Musil's batting fifth in left field. Tony Lazari is batting sixth. That's second base. Joe Dugan's at third, batting seventh, batting eighth. That's the catcher. Collins batting ninth. Wait Hoyt, the pitcher. On the mound for the New York Yankees, Whitey Ford, 25 and 4 of the 3.21 earned run average. He struck out 209, walked 92, gave up 23 gopher balls. Here's the pitch to Earl Combs. Lefty lefty matchup. And that is a 2-2-1. Two, two, so that is a 2-2-1. Two, two, and a 1 on the 20-sided dice roll. So Combs will single right back up the middle. So here come the 27 Yankees. Corners are in. Howard has a minus 1 arm. Mark Koenig at the plate, batted 285, corners are in. 
70% chance for Combs stealing. We're going to try it. Ford throws, trying to pick off Combs, and he just dives back in safely. Oh, Whitey Ford saw Combs leaning through over to Scourin, who just applied the tag a little too late. A little hit and run now. Here's the pitch of Koenig. There goes the runner. And he rips a shot into center, going first to third is Combs. So the 27 Yankees execute the hit and run to perfection. And here comes the Bambino, Babe Ruth. Four deals to Ruth. And that is a five, four, 20-sided dice rolls of three, five, four. Ruth trying to knock in a run here. Five, four to Babe Ruth. Ground ball, third base X. That's a three. It will be a range play for Cleet Boyer, an outstanding defender. And that is a 16. And Boyer will commit the two-base throwing error. Combs scores from third. Koenig goes first to third. Ruth stands at second. And there are no outs, and it's two to one. And here comes the iron horse, Lou Gehrig. Gehrig looking for the 3-1 column. Here's the pitch from Ford to Gehrig. And that is a 2-9. 17 on the 20-sided dice roll. 2-9. Fly ball out to Maris in right. Will Koenig tie up? Doesn't look deep enough. One through 16. We're going to send them. And the 20... Oh my God, am I stupid. Well, no, we got to re-roll that because we already... If I looked, we would have known the result. And it's a four. So he will score. Yeah, that you have to re-roll. And it's a 2-2 ball game. Ruth moves up to third with one out. Go ahead, run at third. And here's Bob Musil, left fielder for the 27 Yankees. Howard sets the target. Ford kicks and fires. And that is a 111. A 111. Column of choice for Musil. 111. Ground ball to second base. Richardson's up with it. He throws to first, but the 27 Yankees take the lead on the RBI ground out, and it's now 3-2. So Murderer's Row comes roaring back. One out. Here's Tony Lazeri. Four deals to Lazeri. And that is a 5-6. 19 on the 20-sided dice roll. 5-6 to Lazeri. And that's a 19. So this will be a single for Tony Lazeri. As the hit parade continues, he rips a shot to left. Barra has it, throws it into Kubek, the cutoff man. Lazeri, 75% chance of stealing second. He's going to attempt to go. He can't get the proper jump. He'll hold. Here's Joe Dugan, the third baseman. Lefty-righty matchup. Ford kicks and fires to Dugan, and that is a 2-6 to Dugan. 2-6 to Dugan. 2-6 to Dugan. Not a column of choice. Ground ball to Kubik. Over to Richardson. On to Scourin. Double play. Inning over. But the 27 Yankees come roaring back and take a 3-2 lead. This could be a slug fest for, for uh, slug fest, folks. Bubba Husky's in the chat. Hope all is well. Wait, Hoyt back on the mound. He'll face Scourin, Boyer, and the pitcher, Whitey Ford. Hoyt deals to the Moose. And Scourin, it is a 1-9. A 1-9 to Moose Scourin. Ground ball to Koenig. Over to Garrick. One down. Now bring up Cleet Boyer. He made a two-base throwing error. Those runs... Against Ford are unearned. Boyer looking for the 3 5. Wade Hoyt rocks and fires, and that is a 6 10. A 6 10. 6 10 to Boyer. Fly ball out to Combs in center. 
He's there. Makes the catch two down. So one more out. And the Yankees will go down one, two, three. And here comes the pitcher, Whitey Ford. Hoyt deals to his counterpart, Ford. And that is a one, three. What will it be? We shall see on the one, three to Whitey Ford. Hard hit ball to Lazari. He's up with it. Over to Garrick's side. Retired. One, two, three. Go the 61 Yankees. We go to the bottom of the second. Three to two to 27 Yankees. And Murderer's Row. Ford will face Collins. You can barely see that pitcher. Then the pitcher. Then the pitcher. Hoyt. And the top of the order. Earl Combs. Here's the pitch to the catcher. For the 27 Yankees. Collins. And that is a 4-10 to Collins. 4-10. Off the Whitey Ford card, so he makes his pitch on the fourth ten. And that's going to be a play for the catcher. A 20-sided die is a 10. And that is a 9. So that should be out number one. Number in front of the plate. Howard throws the first one away, and here comes the pitcher, Wade Hoyt. Hoyt's looking for the 1-6 column, the 1-6. Four deals to his counterpart, Hoyt. And that is a 5-10, 5-10. 5-10 to Wade Hoyt. Fly ball out to center field. 20-sided dice roll was a 10. Error check is a 7. Mickey Mantle will make the catch for out number two. Got to come in a bit on it. Two outs, bases empty, top of the order. And it's Earl Combs. He singled and scored his first time up. Ford kicks and fires to Combs, and that is a 1-6 and a 14 for the 20-sided dice roll. 1-6. Good column for Combs. And he singles again, two for two, as once again he goes up the middle. So Combs is at first, and here comes his partner in crime. Um, Koenig. Koenig singled his first time up. Two outs. Combs will be off on top. Uh, contact. Howard sets the target. Here's the pitch from Whitey Ford. And that is a 4-7 with a 4 on a 20-sided dice roll. 4-7. Not a column of choice, 4-7. And that's a single. The 20-sided dice roll was a 4, so he's 2-for-2. Two two. And here come the 27 Yankees again. As that ball goes bounding up the middle between Kubek and Richardson, Combs holds at second. So first and second, two outs for Babe Ruth. He's 0-for-1. They gave him an RBI on that. Wow. Two base error, and he's given an RBI. Well, that's the scorer for Stratomatic. The Bambino looking for the 2 6 column. Two outs, two on, three to two, 27 Yankees. Howard goes through the signs. Here's the pitch from Whitey Ford. That is a 4 10 17. 4 10. 17. Nubber in front of the plate. Howard's up with it. Fires to first. 12. And the side will be retired on the good strong throw from Howard to Scourin. Yankees strand 2. We go to the top of the third. 3 to 2. 27 Yankees due up. For the 61 Yanks. Top the order. Richardson, Kubek, and Maris. Richardson is 1 for 1. He singled. And scored a run. Here's the pick to Bobby Richardson from Wait Hoyt. And that is a 4-11. 4-11. Ground ball to first. 20-sided dice rule is a 7. Gary backhands it. Nope. Oh, the white die has jumped the shark. Where have you gone, white die? There it is. And that is a 5, so that's a 15. And that's going to be out number 1. 
as Garrett flips to Hoyt covering the bag as he ranged far to his left. One out. I'll bring up Tony Kubek. Kubek singled his first time up. Collins goes through the sides. Hoyt kicks and deals to Kubek, and that is a 3-2. 3-2. Hard hit ball to Hoyt. He snares it, throws to Garrick. Two down. Tying run comes to plate. Roger Maris. Maris had 61 homers in 61. He awaits the Wade Hoyt offering. Here's the pitch to Maris, and that is a 2-4. Column of choice, 2-4. To Roger Maris, one swing in the back. Can he tie it up on the 2-4? Hard hit ball. Hoyt knocks it down, picks it up, throws the first. Side retired. Bottom of the third, 3-2, 27 Yankees over the 61 M&M &M boys. Maris and Mantle. Due up for Murderer's Row, Gehrig, Musil, and Lazari. Lou Gehrig had a sack fly and a ribby. Here's the pitch to the Iron Horse. That is a 4-7 to Gehrig. 4-7. With an 8-20-sided dice roll. That's a single for uh, Lou Gehrig. As he rips a shot up the middle past the dive of Richardson. Gehrig's at first, no outs for Bob Musil. Musil's 0 for 1 with a ribby. Gehrig takes a slight lead. They're holding him on. Here's the pitch to Bob Musil, and that is a 4-10-1 on the 20-sided dice roll. 4-10-1. So I, don't, I think this will... See what this will turn out to, and an 11, so no error. And that is a wild pitch. So advancing to second is Gehrig, so he's in scoring position. 1 through 13 base runner for Musil. Again, Musil 0 for 1 with a ribby. Ford peeks over his shoulder, now looks in at Howard, gets the sign. He rocks and fires the Musil once again, and that is a 2-10. A 2-10 with a 5 on the 20-D. 2-10. Column of choice for Musil. Can he knock in Gehrig? And that's going to be a single as he rips a shot to center. And there was a hiccup in the game. Did you see that? Did you see that? Oh, the, the thing's not coming up. That's great. Um, we don't, that's awesome. So the little chart doesn't come up. This happens once in a while in this game. We're going to send the lead runner. Hold the trail runner. And we'll roll the 20-sided die. And that's a 13. And Garrick scores on the single. And it's now 4 to 2, 27 Yankees. So Musil's at first. No outs for Tony Lazari. He's 1 for 1. Musil's going to attempt to steal. 36% uh, chance of getting the lead. 1 through 15. If he does get the lead, he does not get the lead. He'll stay at first. Scouring, holding him on. Here's the pitch to Lazari. Corners are playing in. Ford kicks and fires. Lazari gets a 5-10 with a 12-20 side dice roll off the Whitey Ford card. 5-10. Fly ball to center field. That's a 12. Mickey Mantle racing back. Has a beat on it. And that's an 8. And he will make the catch for out number 1. Nice running catch by Mickey Mantle. Holding at first is Musil. One out, one on for Joe Dugan. Third baseman. Collins the catcher on deck. Here's the pitch to Dugan. He's 0 for 1. And that was a 5. 5-8. Uh, 
5-8, Dugan hoping it's going to be great, but I don't think so on the 5-8. As that's a strikeout, swing and a miss. Whitey Ford comes up with a big K, two outs. Musil's at first, 1 through 15 base runner. He'll be off on contact. The 27 Yankees are up 4 to 2 over the 61 Yanks and Marison Mantle. And now bring up Pat Collins. Here's the pitch to Collins. And Collins is 0 for 1, trying to get off the Schneid here. Keep the inning alive. And that is a 5 8. A 5 8 to Collins off the Ford card. 5 8. And that's a strikeout. Another swing and a miss. Side retired. We go to the top of the fourth, 4-2, to two, 27 Yankees over the 61 Yankees. It'll be Mantle, Barra, and Howard. Thank you, Bubba, for stopping by. Take care, my friend. Mantle's one for one with the ribby. Switch hitter batting lefty off the right-handed throwing ho uh, weight Hoyt. Here's the pitch to Mickey Mantle, and that is a 5-8 to Mantle. 5-8 off the Hoyt card. Five, eight, four, twenty sided die. And that's strike three looking. Yogi Bear is 0 for 1. He grounded into a double play his first time up. The wind up and the pitch to Barra. And that is a 5 6 to Barra with a 20. 5 6 to Barra. And Barra fights off a good pitch and bounces it up the middle for a single. Great piece of hitting by Yogi Barra. Tying run comes to plate in Elston Howard. And in 1961, 348 with 21 homers. One swing of the bat. Here's the pitch. And that's going to get away from Collins. And advancing to second is Barra. He's in scoring position on the wild pitch by Wade Hoyt. Collins goes out to have a word with his pitcher. Now back behind the plate. Squats down, sets the target. Here comes another pitch to Howard. And that is a 2-4 with an 8 on the 20-sided day. With one out, Bear is at second. 2-4. Ground ball to third. Dugan has it. Looks Bear back. Throws to first. Out number 2. Good piece of pitching by Hoyt. Bear will be off on contact. One through ten base runner. And here comes Bill Moose scouring. He grounded out. Collins goes through the signs. Hoyt nods his head. He deals to scouring. And that is a 4-8 with a 5 on the 20-D. 4-8. 4-8 to Bill Moose scouring. Bear is at second. And that ball is lifted out to right field. Ruth drifting towards the line and in, and he makes the catch. Side retired. Bear is stranded at second. We go to the bottom of the fourth, still 4-2. to two. Murderers row, and Ruth and Garrick do up. Hoyt in the top of the order, Combs and Kone. Here's the pitch to Wade Hoyt, and that is a 1-6 with a 13. 1-6. Hard hit ball to short. Quebec backhands it, fires the scouring. One down, top of the order, Earl Combs. Two for two with a run scored. He has two singles off Whitey Ford. Lefty, lefty matchup. Combs looking to go three for three. Howard sets the target. Here's the pitch to Earl Combs, and that is a two, nine, and a four. Two, nine. Ground ball to Boyer. No error this time. He fires across the diamond for out number two. Two outs, base is empty for Mark Koenig. He's two for two with a run scored. He's going to try a drag bunt here. B bunter. Infield's back. Bunting for the hit. Here's the pitch. Can Koenig make the drag bunt? He bunts the ball. Howard fields it. Fires the first, but not in time. Koenig's three for three with the bunt base hit. And now bring up Babe Ruth. Ruth is 0 for 2. Two base error and a ground out. Koenig will be off on contact. Here's the pitch to the Bambino. And here's the Sultan of Swat. That is a 5-5 five, five with a 9. 5-5 five, five off the Whitey Ford card. 
Ruth sends that ball out to center field. He just got under that one. Mantle coming in a bit and makes the catch side retired. Koenig stranded at first. We go to the top of the fifth, 4-2, the 27 Yankees over the 61 Yankees in the state of mind, New York State of Mind Cup due up for the m and &M boys and friends, Boyer, Ford, and Bobby Richardson. Boyer. Oh, for one, he flew out. Here's the pitch to Cleet. And Boyer receives a 2-3 from Hoyt. 2-3. What will it be? We shall see for Cleet Boyer. That's a hard hit ball. Koenig backhands it. Fires to first. Out number one. Excellent play by the 27 Yankees shortstop. Here's Whitey Ford. Ford grounded out his first time. Hoyt deals to his counterpart, Ford, and that is a 4-10, a 4-10 with a 14-4-10 to Whitey Ford. Ground ball to short. That's a 14. Koenig's up with it. He throws to first, and that is a 5. Uh-oh, rare play. Something wild and wacky could happen. And he is out. Two outs scooped out of the dirt by Gehrig, and he holds the bag. So two outs, base is empty, top of the order for Bobby Richardson. He has singled and grounded out. 4-2, to two, 27 Yankees. Here's the pitch to Bobby Richardson from Wade Hoyt, and that is a 3-9. A 3-9. Not a column of choice. 3-9 to Bobby Richardson. Ground ball to Koenig. He's been a busy beaver. He throws to Garrick. Side retired as the 61 Yankees played Pepper with Mark Koenig at short. Due up with a 4-2 lead here in the bottom of the fifth for the 27 Yankees. Garrick, Musil, and Lazari to face Whitey Ford. Garrick one for one with a ribby. Also a sack fly. That's how he got his RBI. Here's the pitch to Garrick from Ford. And that's a 1-12 and a 5. 1. 12. And Gehrig works a walk. So Gehrig's at first. He'll bring up Bob Musil. On deck is Lazari. Musil's going to move him over with a bunt. He's an A bunter. 92% chance of success. And he bunts it. Boyer charges in from third, throws to first for the out. Gehrig advances to second. So one out. And Gehrig's in scoring position for Tony Lazari. Lazari had 18 homers with a 309 batting average in 1927. Let's see if they pitch to Lazari. It looks like they are. And that is a 2-8 to Tony Lazari with a 19. So that split is not favorable if it comes to that. 2 Eight to Lazari. Column of choice. And Lazari jacks that fastball deep to left center field. Mantle racing back. Looks up. And that is bye-bye birdie. As Tony Lazari crushes a two-run runner. And it's now six to two. The 27 Yankees in Murderer's Row pouring it on the 61 Yankees in Maris and Mantle. On the Lazari homer. One out, base is empty for Joe Dugan. He is 0 for 2. Here's the pitch to Dugan. And that is a 4-9 with a 10 on the split. If it comes to that. 4-9. Off the Whitey Ford card. Fly ball out to Maris. Coming in a bit. Makes the catch. Two down. Now bring up the catcher, Pat Collins. He is 0 for 2. He's fouled out and struck out. Lefty-righty matchup. Here's the pitch to Collins from Ford. And that is a 6-7 with a 1. So that's a favorable split, again, if it comes to it. 6, and it's a column of choice. 6-7-1. Swing and a miss, strike 3. Side retired, but the 27 Yanks and Murderer's Row pick up two more on the two-run homer by the second baseman, Tony Lazari. Due up for the 61 Yanks, and they got to get their bats going, folks. They have to get their bats going. Kubek, Maris, and Mantle. Kubek, 
One for two with a run scored. He has singled and grounded out. Here's the pitch from Hoyt to Kubek, and that is a two and a five with a seven, uh, four, excuse me. Column of choice for Kubek, two, five, and a four on the split, so that's a single. So Kubek singles up the middle past the dive of Lazari. And now bring up Roger Maris, 0 for 1 with a walk. He's also grounded out. 61 homers for Maris in 1961. Here's the pitch to Roger. And it is a 6-9 off the Wade Hoyt card. 6-9, hoping to turn 2. Line shot to Duke, and he goes leaping in there, and he makes the catch, robbing extra bases of Roger Maris. Quickly getting back to first is Kubek. One out, one on for Mickey Mantle. Mantle's one for two with a ribby. He is singled and struck out. Kubek at first being held on by Garrett. Here's the pitch to Mickey Mantle. Wade Hoyt deals him a 1-9 with an 18 split. 1-9. Off the mantle card. Not a call of choice, though. 1-9. But Mantle works a walk. So Kubik advances to second. Mantle's at first for Yogi Berra. Berra grounded into a double play his first time up. And then singled in the fourth. One swing of the bat could pull the 61 Yankees to within one. Collins sets the target. Wade Hoyt deals to Yogi Berra. And that is a 6-3 with an 11 split. 6-3. What will it be? We shall see. Fly ball out to right. Ruth has a bead on it. That's an 8. Babe Ruth will make the running catch. Let's see if Kubek will tag. As Ruth races towards the line, makes the catch, and Kubek holds at second. So Wade Hoyt, one out away from getting out of this mini jam. And here comes Elston Howard. Howard, 0 for 2. 21 homers, though, in 61. He's grounded out twice. Kubek at second, Mantle at first. They'll be off on contact. Here's the pitch to Elston Howard, and that is a two and a three with an 18. Two, three, what shall it be? We shall see for Elston Howard. Ground ball. Up with his Koenig, he flips to Lazari for the force outside, retired. The 61 Yankees strand some more runners on base. Bottom of the six, six to two, 27 Yankees over the 61 Yankees. Due up for Murderer's Row, Waite, Hoyt, Earl Combs, and Mark Koenig. Hoyt is 0 for 2 off his counterpart. He's flown out and ground out. Ford wants to make quick work out of the 27 Yankee pitcher. Here's the windup and the pitch. And Waite Hoyt gets a 2 and an 8 with a 10. 2. Eight. And that's a strikeout. Swing and a miss. One down. Top of the order, Earl Combs, two for three with a run scored. He singled twice. Last time up, he grounded out. Howard goes through the signs. Ford nods his head. He kicks and fires to Combs. And that is a five. A five, eight. With an eleven. On the 20-sided die, 5-8 to Earl Combs. And that's another strikeout. Off-speed pitch got him. So two up, two down via the K. And here comes Mark Koenig, 3-for-3. Three three. He singled three times his last time up. A drag bunt base hit. Not, Howard jumped on it as he didn't go that far away. But Koenig beat the throw. Will Koenig go 4-for-4? Four four? Here's the pitch to Koenig from Whitey Ford. And that is a 5-6. With a 12, 5, 6, pick up some sticks. And that's a 12, and that's going to be a single. He's going to be 4 for 4. A 4 and under would have been a double. And he singles to left. So Mark Koenig is 4 for 4. 
And that brings it to Babe Ruth, who's 0 for 3 with a ribby. He has reached on a two-base error, grounded out and flown out. Ford faces the Bandino once again, and that is a 2-7, a 2-7 with a 14. Column of choice for Babe Ruth, 2-7. And that's a 14. Ruth smashes his ball deep. Left center field. Mantle on the run. On the run. He leaps. He's not going to get it. It's off the wall. Koenig will be waved around as he's going to try to score all the way from first. Ruth will hold. Here's the relay throw. And it's a 1 as it's offline and scoring all the way from first is Koenig. Ruth with a two-out RBI double. It's now 7-2, 27 Yankees over the 61 Yankees. As once again, the 27 Yankees, a team I'm fascinated with, bludgeons a more modern team. Here comes Lou Gehrig. He's one for one. He has a sack fly for an RBI, and he walked in his last time. Can he drive? Ruth in here. Four deals to the Iron Horse. And that is a 2-8 with a 5 on the any type of split. So 2-8 to Lou Gehrig. Two outs. Ruth will be off on contact. Curveball swing and a miss. Side retired. But the 27 Yankees. Tack another one on the board on the two-out double in RBI by Babe Ruth. Seven to two, top of that seventh. Bottom third of the 61 Yankee order, Scourin, Boyer, and Ford. Here's the pitch to Bill Moose Scourin. He is 0 for 2. Hoyt deals to Scourin. And that is a 1-7 to Bill Moose Scourin. 1-7 with a 3 split. Dugan. Up with it, throws to first, one down, scoring at home, 5-3. to three. Cleet Boyer's 0 for 2, the Yankee third baseman from 1961. Collins wiggles the fingers, here's the pitch to Boyer, and that is a 1-10 with a 15 split. 1-10. And he's jammed. Pop-up. Koenig. Dugan calls him off, he makes the catch on the outfield grass, 2 down. Whitey Ford will Ford bat. No, he will not. It'll be John Doc Blanchard. Blanchard in 1961 in 243 at bats, 305 batting average, 21 homers. Short left field, uh, short right field porch for the left-handed batter. Here's the pitch from Hoyt to Blanchard, and that is a 110. It's a Blanchard column, 110 with an 11 split, 1-10. And Blanchard doesn't need a split as he crushes that ball. Right center field, goodbye birdie, and it's now 7-3. So Blanchard touches them all, and the 61 Yankees pulled to within four. They need some base runners on to get that grand salami, though. And here comes Bobby Richardson. Richardson, one for three. He has singled and grounded out twice. Hoyt has to get that homer out of his mind. He deals to Bobby Richardson. And that is a 2-6 with a 10 split. 2-6. Two, 2-6 six. Two, six off the Richardson card. Ground ball to that man at short. Koenig, he's up with it. Throws to Garrick's side. Retired. But the 61 Yankees do get one more on the homer by the pinch hitter, Blanchard. And it's now 7-3. to three. Ruth and Gehrig and the rest of the 27 Yankees. Trivia time. What is meant by the phrase, the team is strong up the middle? They have an excellent shortstop and second baseman. And that's what it is. And now coming into pitch for the 61 Yankees is Jim Coates. Coates was 11-5. With a 3.45, with 50, gave up 15 homers, struck out 80, walked 53. He is a right-handed pitcher. He'll face Musil, Lazeri, and Dugan. Musil one for two with two ribbies. Coach deals to Musil. And that is a 4-7 with a 15 on the 20-sided die. 
seven. Off the coach card, and that's a strikeout as he goes down looking. One out, and here's Tony Lazeri. Lazeri's two for three with a homer. He has singled, flown out, and homered. It was a two-run shot. That was, that was all off Whitey Ford. Coates kicks and fires to Lazeri. And that is a 3-10 with an 18. 3-10 off the Lazeri card. Not a column of choice, though. 3-10. Hard hit ball up the middle. Coates knocks it down, picks it up, throws to Scourin. Two down. Joe Dugan, third baseman's 0 for 3. Righty, righty matchup. Dugan digs in, ready to grip and rip. Here is the pitch from Coates. And that is a 3 and a 7. Column of choice for Dugan. He might get his first hit here. 3-7 split is a 5. And that's going to be a double. As I have to click it in now, that's a 5. So that's a double. Dugan keeps the inning alive as he splits Bearer and Mantle to the left center field gap. And he's standing at second. And here comes Pat Collins. Collins is 0 for 3. He's fouled out and struck out twice. I don't think we have another catcher, though. Oh, I think Dugan can catch. Oh, I clicked on the wrong visitor. Benoff can catch. Two forty seven. Collins two seventy five. Pasquale, 317, Dugan, so Ben Pasquale will come in to pinch hit for Pat Collins, the new catcher after we bet off, here's Ben Pasquale, 317 with two homers, runner at second is Dugan, 1 through 11, he'll be off on contact with two outs. Here's the pitch to Pasquale from Coates, and that is a 3-5. And Pasquale will get a pitch to grip and rip, and the split is a 6-3-5. 3-5 to Pasquale. And he doubles. So that is again going to split Baron Mantle. Back-to-back -back doubles, and Dugan scores from second easily. So the pinch hit double by Pasquale once again makes it a five-run lead for the 27 Yankees. It's now 8-3, to three, and here's Waite Hoyt, the pitcher. He's 0 for 3. He will hit. Coach deals to Hoyt, and that is a 1-4 with a 9 split. 1-4 with a 9 split, and it is a column of choice for Waite Hoyt. 1-4. Ground ball, Coates has it. The pitcher throws the scouring. Side is retired. We go to the top of the eighth. Eight to three, the 27 Yankees over the 61 Yankees. Again, bludgeoning more modern teams. And Benoff will come in to catch. So Pasquale, the pinch hitter, pays off, knocks in a ribby. And I'll bring up the Kubek, Maris, and Mantle to face Wade Hoyt here in the top of the eighth. Kubek, two for three, is singled, grounded out, and singled. Has scored a run. Hoyt wastes no time. Here's the pitch, and that is a one four with a ten split. One four column of choice. Kubek might have a pitch here. 1-4, and he's jammed. He pops it up. Gehrig on the outfield grass makes the catch at first. One down. Roger Maris. Maris is 0 for 2 with a walk. He's grounded out and lined out in his last plate appearance. Wade Hoyt up to 90 pitches. He deals to Roger Maris. That is a 4-10 with a 6. 4-10 with a 6. 
Off the Wade Hoyt card, 410. Ground ball to short, and that's a six, so it's going to be a range play. It's a 2G number sign. And now we'll error check for Koenig, and that is a four, so no error. But let's see if Koenig can make the play. Bounding ball. Koenig makes the dive. He pops up. He fires the Garrick. Garrick scoops it out of the dirt. For out number two, Koenig ranging way to his left. Dives, pops up, and fires the Garrick, who made a great stretch and got the ball out of the dirt. So two outs. No one on for Mickey Mantle. Mantle is one for two with a ribby. He has singled, struck out, and walked. Trying to keep the inning alive. Here's the pitch to the mid. And... Wait, Hoyt deals Mantle a 110 with a 7 split. 110 off the Mantle card. Ground ball to the shortstop. Koenig's up with it. Throws the Garrick side. Retired. How many balls have gone to Mark Koenig at short? We go to the bottom of the eighth. 8-3. Eight to three, The 27 Yankees over the 61 Yankees due up. Top of the order, Combs, Koenig, and Ruth to face Coates. Combs, two for four with a run scored. He's singled twice in his first two at-bats. Since then, he's grounded out and struck out. Here's the pitch to Combs from Coates. Now that is a 5-9 with a 15. 5-9-15 if there's a split. 5-9. And there is a split. 15 and that's another double off Coates. So Earl Combs picks up his third hit. And this time Mantle's gapped between uh, in right center. So it's gapped between Mantle and Maris. Combs stands at second. No outs. And here comes Mark Koenig. Four for four with two runs scored. He's had three singles. Third one being of a bunt variety. He's going to swing away here. Combs, excellent base runner at second. Coach takes a peek. Now he deals to Koenig. And that is a 4-6 with a 6 split. 4-6. Off the Coats card. 4-6. Fly ball to center B. Mantle has a beat on it. He's under it. Makes the catch. Combs bluffs, but does not go. One out. Here's Babe Ruth. The Bambino is one for four. He has a double and a ribby. Here's the pitch. From Coach to Ruth in the house that Ruth built. And that is a 4-9 off the Coach card with a 17-4-9. To the Bambino, the Sultan of Swat will fly the ball the other way to left. Barra coming in, coming in, coming in. He makes the running catch. Two down. Copes again holds at second. So two outs, bases. Uh, Combs at second. Will be off on contact. Garrick one for two with a ribby. Sack fly, single walk, last at bat, he struck out. Coach the righty deals to the iron horse. And the left-handed Lou Gehrig gets a 6-6 six, six with a 20. 6-6. Six, six. Off the coach card. Coach makes his pitch. But they don't give him the straight call. Howard's upset with it, and Gehrig walks once again. So Gehrig at first, Combs at second. Two outs. They'll be off on contact. Bob the eighth. Here's Bob Musil. One for three with a ribby. He's grounded out. Singled. Had a sack bunt. Struck out his last time up. Here's the pitch to Musil from Coates. And that is a 5-4 with an 11. Off the Coates card. Oh, 5-4. Four, Fly ball out to center. Mickey Mantle. It's an 11. He's racing after it. And that is a 10. 6 3 one's a 10. He'll make the running catch to left center. And the side is retired. The Yankees of 1927 strand two. We go to the top of the ninth. Wait, Hoyt has a five-run lead. The 27 Yankees are up 8-3. to three. He's looking for the complete game victory. And he will face Barra, Howard, and Bill Muscarin. 
Yogi Berra one for three. He is grounded into a double play, singled, and back in the sixth. His last time up, he has flown out. Berra looking for the three, the one or the three column. The windup and the pitch from Hoyt, and Berra gets a five and a three. So the five column and a three. Split is ten. And Berra works a walk. So he's on. The 61 Yankees need base runners. Here's Elston Howard. He is 0 for 3. He is grounded out three times against Wade Hoyt. Koenig and Lazari hoping to turn two up the middle. Here's the pitch to Elston Howard. And that is a 3-7 with a 10 split. 3-7. Column of choice for Howard. Three. Will it be a lucky 7 for Elston? And it will as Elston Howard singles up the middle. And here come the 61 Yankees down by 5. Bill Moose Scourin had 28 home runs with a 267 batting average in 1961. One swing of the bat would pull the 61 Yankees with Maris and Mantle to within two of the murderer's row, 27 Yanks. He's 0 for 3. Here's the pitch to the Moose Scourin. And Wade Hoyt deals him a 4 and a 3 with a... 16. So it's 4, 3. The split's a 16 if it comes to that. And that's a ground ball hit to Gehrig. He'll race to first and step on the bag for out number one. Advancing to third is Barrett. A second is Howard. And here's Cleet Boyer. Boyer is 0 for 3. Boyer, 224 in 1961 with 11 homers. He has flown out, ground out, and popped out. Infield, outfield, straightaway, and normal. The windup and the pitch from Wade Hoyt. And Boyer gets a 6 and a 7. So Wade Hoyt makes his pitch off his card. And the split is a 16. So Cleet Boyer fights off that pitch, and he will single. As 1 through 19 was a single, and his split is a 16 on his dice roll. So Boyer singles to right, Barra scores, and Howard is held up at third as he is a slow base runner. And now it's 8 to 4. The lead is cut in half. Coates comes to, is on due to uh, come to the plate, but he will not. It will be Hector Lopez. Who comes into pinch hit? Hector Lopez in 1961 only batted 222 with three homers and 243 at bats. Was more known for his defense. Boyer's at first. Howard is at third. Lopez is at the plate. Eight to four now. One out. Benoff goes out to have a word with Hoyt. He's thrown 111 pitches, good for 126. Bat off back behind the plate. Goes through the signs, sets a target. Here's the pitch from Hoyt to Lopez. Lopez looking for the 5-6, and he gets a 6, so he wants to hit off the pitcher's card here. It is a column of choice, and that is a 6-5 with a 9 split. So 6-5, 6-5. Can Hector Lopez come through in the clutch? And he will. And that's going to be a single. A one or a two would have been a double. But that's a single. As he singles in front of Musil in left. And Howard scores from third. And here come the 61 Yankees. It's now 8-5. to five. Tying run comes to the plate. And Bobby Richardson, the second baseman. 261 with three homers. On deck is Kubek. Only one out. And that might be the day. For Wade Hoyt, he's gone eight and a third. He's given up five runs. Not all of them earned, though. We'll see more. Urban Shocker.
2.28. We'll see more. We'll come in. Wade Hoyt's day is done, so we'll see more. Looking at the final two outs here. He'll face Richardson one for four. He singled his first time up, and then he's grounded out three times. Boyer's at second. Lopez at first, both with one through 12 speed. Here's the pitch to Bobby Richardson from Will See Moore. And that is a 6-6 six, six off the Moore card with a split of six. Six has gone wild. So a 6-6. Six, six. Will this be the double play ball that ends the game off the bat of Bobby Richardson? As he flies this ball to right, he goes the other way. Ruth coming in a bit, makes the catch. Runners hold, so two outs. Tying run again at the plate, this time in the form of Tony Kubek, who was two for four with the run scored. He has singled, grounded out, singled, and popped out. And we'll see more. Kubek is a lefty. And again, we're going to go to our pen. And we're going to go to... Pennock, the lefty. So here's Pennock trying to get the final out here. Lefty, lefty matchup. Here's the pitch to Tony Kubek, and that is a 6 2 with a 12. Two outs, two on, 8 to 5. The 27 Yankees over the 61 Yankees. So that's 6 2 off the Pennock card. 6 2. How will you do on the 6-2 with a 12 split? And Pennock misses, and that's ball four. And here comes Roger Maris. Holy cow. If Maris goes grand salami, we will have a walk-off win for the 61 Yankees. As JT Dutch says, hi there, Al. Looks like it's getting a little exciting now. Yes, it is. I love the 27 Yankees. I'm a Red Sox fan, but I'm fascinated by the 27 Yankees. I play them a ton. I have a bunch of cards coming in. I actually, I have the sets uh, on the PC, but not all the players. You get more players with the cards. But what I like with the cards, what I've rediscovered, is I can mix and match and make up teams. And you can kind of do that, but it's much more difficult. Um... I mean, you could do it on the PC. I just wanted the cards. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do with the 22nd Yankees is a home run derby against the home, the top 10 home run hitters. Uh, actually, it's the 27 Yankees and uh, uh, 34. The home run hitters for the 27 Yankees, 34 Cardinals, 61 Tigers, and the 62 Giants against the 1983 top 10 home run leaders. And we're going to go to our bullpen again. So old school meets new school. And that's not the right team. Let's go here. Here we go. Oh, it is the right team. I just uh, I think Urban Shocker can pitch out of the pen. But we're going to go lefty. Maris is even. Shocker 284. Right. There's no lefty righty splits. This is basic. With the old teams. So here's Urban Shocker trying to get the last out here in this New York State of Mind Cup. Two outs. Boyer's at third. Lopez is at second. The tying run is Tony Kubek at first. One through 14 speed. The winning run, if he hits a grand salami, Roger Maris. Maris hit 61 homers in 60. He's 0 for 3 today with a walk. He walked his first time up. He is ground out, lined out, and ground out. All against Wade Hoyt. Hoyt is out of the game. He will now face Urban Shocker. Shocker in 1927. 18 and 6. With a 2.84 earned run average. Striking out 35. But he walked 41 and he gave up 8 gopher balls. Benoff has a word with Shocker. Back behind the plate. Sets the target. Here's the pitch from Shocker to Maris. And that is a 
with a one split. So if it's a split, it will be favorable for Maris, obviously. So that's a six and a five. So Shocker makes his pitch. And this is not a comma choice. Six, five. Fly ball to center field. Combs goes racing back, racing back at the track, and he makes the catch side retired with Mickey Mantle on deck. The 1927 Yankees hold on to an 8-5 win over the 1961 Yanks with Maris and Mantle. The m, &M boys go down to defeat to Ruth and Gehrig and Murderers Row, the 27 Yankees. They leave them loaded. As Maris flies deep to center, Combs makes the running catch at the track. Mickey Mantle was on deck. Save goes to Urban Shocker. The win goes to Wade Hoyt. The loss goes to Whitey Ford. As J.T. Dutch says, only natural to be fascinated with arguably the best team of all time. Yeah, I, I like them. I like them. I like a lot of different baseball teams. You know? All right, let's get the box. That was a fun game. I just had an urge to play this. And let's get the box score. Um, Player of the game. Well, let's just go through the pitching. Whitey Ford takes the loss, six innings, 11 hits, seven runs, five of them earned, two of them were unearned due to an error, walked one, struck out six, gave up the home run to Tony Lazarus through 115 pitches. Coates came in for the two innings, three hits, one run, it was earned. It was a back to back doubles, walked one, struck out one on 37 pitches. Wade Hoyt gets the win. He couldn't complete the game. He went eight and a third, nine hits, five runs, five of them earned. Three walks, one strikeout. He gave up a home run. And that was to the pinch hitter, Johnny Doc Blanchard. The 27 Yankees home run was Tony Lazari. Then, Will Moore came in, got an out. Pennock came in, he walked a batter. So bases were juiced. And Urban Shocker. Got Roger Maris to fly out deep to center as Earl Combs raced back, made the catch at the track in front of the wall with Mickey Mantle on deck. A grand salami would have won the game. Tying run was at first, and Tony Kubek. Winning run was Roger Maris if he could have jacked one out. Player of the game. Uh, Ruth knocked in two. Musil knocked in two. Lazari. Two hits with the two with the big home run. Cold players of the game. Ah, I don't know if player of the game, Tony Lazari. I'm gonna have to give it to Lazari. Alright. So for the 61 Yankees, Richardson was one for five with a run scored. Kubek was two for four with a run scored. Maris was 0 for four. Mantle was one for three with a ribby. So the M&M &M boys combined were 1 for 7 with 1 RBI. Yogi Berra was 1 for 3 with a run scored. Elston Howard, 1 for 3 with a run scored. Scourin was 0 for 4. Cleet Boyer was 1 for 4 with a ribby. Ford, the pitcher, was 0 for 2. Johnny Doc Blanchard pinch hit home run, 1 for 1 with a ribby and a run scored. Coates pitched did not hit. And Hector Lopez, weak hitting Hector Lopez, was 1 for 1 with a ribby. So the pinch hitters came through for the 61 Yankees and made it quite interested in the top of the ninth. 61 Yanks, 35 at-bats, 5 runs, 9 hits, 4 ribbies, 1 was unearned. For the 1927 Yankees, Earl Combs, 3 for 5 With a run scored. Mark Koenig, 4 for 5 with 2 runs scored. Honorable mentions for player of the game. Babe Ruth, 1 for 5 with a run scored and 2 ribbies. Lou Gehrig, 1 for 2 with 2 runs scored and a ribby. Bob Musil, 1 for 4 with 2 RBIs. Tony Lazari, 2 for 4 with a 2 run homer and a run scored. Player of the game. Joe Dugan, 1 for 4 with a run scored. Collins, 0 for 3. Pasquale came in to pinch hit for Collins. Benoff took over 
for catching, but Pasquale had to pinch it. Single for an RBI, one for one with a ribby. Ben Hoff caught, did not hit. Hoyt, 0 for 4. Moore, Pennock, and Shocker pitched, did not hit. So the 27 Yankees in victory, 37 at-bats, 8 runs, uh, 14 hits, 8 ribbies. So that was a thrilling game. And the 27 Yankees come away with the New York State of Mind Cup. Uh, Bobby has joined us. Bobby Cantalano. Hope all is well. We just finished up our stream. 12.43. I'm going to hit the hay. Got to go to work. Get up at 6 in the morning. So thank you to Bobby Cantalano. JT Dutch. Oh, JT Dutch says, I missed the start of the game. Did Ford start? Yes, Whitey Ford did start. Oh, as he says, that answers my question as I was going through the box score. So thank you to Bobby Cantalano, JT Dutch, Bubba Husky, the original Grognard, Mike McAllister. As Mike McAllister said, I played a strat game today, the 69 Mets. Bested the 62 Yankees 2 to 1 and 3 to nothing in basic strat. Yankees pitchers Ford and Terry both lost against Seaver and Kuzman. That sounded like a great game. Great games there. Heck of a matchup pitching wise. Bubba Husky says I left 95 points on my bench in fantasy football. I take it he didn't win. So. Thank you, everyone. As Bubba Huskies popped back in the chat. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the game. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know what we're doing. I'm going to be on with Ron Juckett, I think, tomorrow at 8 p.m. Uh, he's going to do a little interview with me on his channel. That's Retro Sports Network, if you want to check that out. That's Retro Sports Network with Ron Juckett. And then uh, I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the week. i got to get back to my football tournament. A couple of people have messaged me. Are you going to finish the tournament? I said yes. So the next thing I do even though I've been in baseball mode, will be the Buffalo Bills versus the Washington Redskins taking on the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo had a bye. Washington won their playing game. All righty. Once again, the 1927 Yankees defeat the 1961 Yankees. 8-5. to five. Lazari, player of the game. 2-4, for four, the two-run homer, and a run scored. Winning pitcher, Wade Hoyt. Save goes to Urban Shocker. The losing pitcher, Whitey Ford for the 61 Yankees. Till next time, health and happiness. Thank you, everyone, who joined me in the chat or will watch later. Uh, watch out for the curveball in the dirt. God bless, and you know what's coming, folks. Peace!